Okay, um, talking about paywalls, that was the discussion this morning. And next to me there's Eric Capo, he's CEO of the Huffington Post. And he rose the question about do we building these paywalls in the news business and are they necessary? What, what is your opinion on that? Well, my, obviously, we're talking about general news, so not news directed at professionals. Uh, my view is in general news, the news is free. Uh, people can find the news anywhere, and so to try to put the news back in the bottle and make people pay for it, it's, it's just, it just doesn't work. And I think the history of paywalls has shown that it doesn't work, for very, very few exceptions. And the exception that's always mentioned is the Wall Street Journal. But the Wall Street Journal is kind of a specialized, almost professional type of content. And it's always been paid, it was never free. Okay. So, but newspapers that try to go paid, uh, typically, they lose their audience, and then eventually they lose their advertisers. And what is the potential, actually, if you break the walls down? Do, what what kind of benefits do you see? Do, or are you considering like getting a subscription model for for having post or something like that? No, you you no, mentioned no, that we, you'll we, never. Well, you know. I, in the, in the foreseeable future, we, we don't plan for it. We, okay. I, I doubt that we'll have one. Uh, we will be very uh, concerned about losing a good part of our audience. Uh, we attract a lot of young people. It's, it's a myth that young people don't care about the news. We have a lot of young people. I uh, would be very concerned that the young people would go away. Uh, so um, I think that the benefit of not having a paywall is that you can have a much bigger audience uh, and a much younger audience. And you also mentioned the percentage of curated and aggregated and actually created content on Huffington Post. Uh, can you can you tell me about? Is it really just an aggregation of news, or is it more? Uh, two, about two thirds of our content is uh, is original, uh, created by. Uh, we have seventy five journalists, editors. Okay. Have to hire twenty more. Uh, so and then we also have our bloggers, uh, and of course the community. So. Great majority of the content on After Post is original. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.